Hello guys, welcome back to my slide 2 Banner Thieves Let's Play. In the last episode we tailed Dimitri around Paris to complete a few other jobs around Paris. And this episode now we've got a few more jobs to do around Paris before we can pull off the nightclub heist. So I think we'll play a slide first and I think we've got two missions we can do. One, okay let's get a block come up. We can see the names of the mission. We've got Theatre Pitpocketing or Moonlight Rendezvous. Yeah, I think we'll head to Moonlight Rendezvous first because that's when we have to follow Constable Neela around Paris. Okay, so here, let's get some few coins while we're at it. I've got 12 clue bottles out of the 30. I don't think I'll get every single one in this, in this Let's Play. I don't think I'll bother. Hold it, Koopa. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. So what, it takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Fly, pull down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep I'll up. I'll follow Neela. I've been running a lot in the few futures. Where'd she go? Up oh, this way. Nearly lost track of her. Let's get some coins while we're on it. I don't think I'm going to bother collecting too many coins, otherwise I will fall f really far behind. Also, when you're near Constantly, do not hit her with your cane, otherwise it'll be a mission fail. The mission will end if you hit Neela, so you have to do you have to follow Neela, but do not hit her with your cane. So if you hit Neela with your cane, the mission will be over. I saw, I saw a clue bottle in the corner of the screen. I'll pick that up another time. If I come around that area again. So I'm literally saying right next to her, but do not hit her with your cane, because the mission will end. So if you're standing in front of, really right behind her, just don't press anything, just... Ooh, hell. I didn't even need that health, I don't know why I picked it up. Honestly, honestly like following Nida around. This is not the only area in the game where you will get to follow Nida around. There are a few other hub areas in the game where you will get to follow Nida as well. Actually quite fun missions, I will admit. I hear another clue bottle. I'm not going to bother picking any up right now. The mission should end round here, so I remember this mission pretty well. I mean, if you're following Neela, that's how I remember this mission pretty well. Oh, clue bottle, can I just grab it? Yeah, why not? I thought I might as well grab it. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad. I've got a job for Bentley now. Oh, I am glad you and Car you and Neil are working together, Sly. I swear every police officer falls in love with Sly. Carmelita, Neela. Oh, there's some treasure there. Tell I'm not going to bother picking it up. Yeah, I won't. I won't need it. Okay, let's go around here because there's going to be quite a few clue bottles around here. Oh, there's Murray's mission though. We'll do that. We'll do Sly's other mission first, then we'll do Murray's mission, then Bentley's mission. We'll do it that way around. Okay, where Murray's other mission? Murray, Sly's other mission is around the corner somewhere. Does this guy have loot? I think he does. We'll head this way because there's a flashlight guy right there. Maybe not. That was way too close. I'm going to sneak up on this guy. Bye bye, bitch. Oh, fuck. I pressed the square button. It didn't register. Fine. Well, I'm out of here. That backfired badly. Although I've not lost any health yet, which is quite surprising. I've not been shot yet. Get out of here. Okay, where's some? Let's go start this mission off before I do get masked by these guards. These guards will seriously make you your bitch if you if you get these guys on your tail. So where you do, do not fight these guys on your literally guns blazing. They will batter you, especially if you're playing as Bentley. That's why Bentley is one. I said in the end of last episode, Bentley's my least favorite character to play as, and the reason for that is because he's a fun character to play as, but he is he is honestly the, the weaker character out of Slime. Sly and Murray is much weaker. 
because of that. He, he, it takes ages for him to take enemies. In the... yeah, he's got awesome gadgets and stuff, but oh, Jesus, they're not off my tail. See, look at, look at these guards. They're arse wipes. I need to find a way up there. How do I get up there? Uh, I need to find a way on that roof. Ah, okay. I think I might know how to get up there. This way. Oh, there's a clue ball. Let's go grab that quickly. Who knows, I might get every single clue ball before the end of the game. It's not likely like, before the end of this area, anyway. There's another clue ball. That is 19. 18, rather. Okay, then, let's start this mission. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. Yeah, well, you'll do. Let's go get some, let's get some more coins. And press the circle button. There's a guard. Well, I'm going to jump straight down. No, I'm not going to head this way instead. I'm definitely not going to land on that fan. That fan is definitely spinning too fast for slide. I, if I was athletic or slide, I would definitely not be able to land on that fan. And there's the first key. I unfortunately have a very weak stomach. If I'm on like, or if I was on um like in a park or something on a roundabout, I would get dizzy pretty quickly. Yeah, and if I was on that fan, I would get dizzy insanely quickly. In fact, before I probably get dizzy, I'll probably fly off the fan anyway. Oh god. Uh oh. I literally thought for a second I I avoided spotlight, but I didn't. Okay, this is this has gone bad already. Okay, he stopped looking for me. Buddy, where are ya? It'll be wise to take out the guards once you pick pocket them, so there'll be less guards to deal with. You can run around much easier. Okay, there's another key. Bye bye, bitch. So I can't bother to listen to Dimitri muttering. I'm going to try and get 300 coins for this mission end so I can purchase Sly's power up. I don't think I've got any power ups I can give Sly yet. Nah, I've got nothing yet. Oh, I don't need it yet anyway. Hopefully not. See, wow, look at the coins in here. There are, there are two guards up there. There's four more keys once I get up there. What I like about Bentley though is that he can put guards to sleep. It's honestly really handy. It's a shame that Bentley can't pickpocket enemies, but oh well, that would be so handy if Bentley could like pickpocket guards. Right, let's get moving. Okay, I've got 300 coins now. I think that should be enough coins. We'll smash all this stuff later on, maybe once I've pickpocketed these guys. Come on, idiots, turn around. Is he coming this way? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh my god, that is so lucky. Good job I did not smash that. <laughs> Come on, give me your key. Nice one. Bye bye. Get out of here. I think the guard might have heard that. Let's get this smash of stuff around here and get a few coins. Why not? Let's smash it down here. These guards must have really poor eyesight. <laughs> That's why they're carrying flashlights. I mean, surely they must realise the whole room has been damaged since they last came down the stairs. Yeah, these guards must be blind. Okay, so it up here. I think the... I think the key, where you put the keys up, I need two more keys though. There's the control panel. Okay, if, I, ah, if we head this way, there's one guard right there. 
Give me your key. I'll make this quick. I've got loads of coins from this mission. I'm actually quite happy I've done this mission. Look at all the coins I'm getting. I'll be rich in no time thanks to this mission. Although I won't be rich if I keep buying power-ups. This reason why I've actually got getting all these coins anyway. Uh, right, smash this. And well, I've got 400 coins. Now where is the last key? Who has the last key? There's one more I'm missing. Holy crap, I didn't realise there was flash flashlights on the ground down there. This wrecked Dimitri's party. Why not? Uh, where is he? Ah, there he is. I see ya. I can see you. How do I get up there, though? Ah, okay. If I head up there... So that's already been destroyed. Okay, if we head up here, then we can walk along this rope. Where is it? How do I get up? Ah, here we go. If we head up here, and from the guard is just up here. What the hell is he staring at? Ah, oh, he's watching TV. Probably trying to work out why the, why nothing's playing on the TV. Yeah, that TV's fucked, mate. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. That TV's definitely fucked now, I've destroyed it. If we head up this way, I'm gonna go... Shut down those fans. Well, slow them down at least, and... We can then complete the rest of the mission. Let's get some coins while we're here. Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. I'm on it, so I'm on it, Bentley. Okay, the fans are no longer moving, which means Sly can now... Whoa. How am I gonna... Oh, right. This fan here is slightly lower, so I'll get on this one first. Now what have we here? I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. Boom, 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 boom. Mission complete. Okay, let's get out of here. We've done our business here. Oh, let's get some more coins though while we're here. Okay, we've got two more missions left. We've got a mission for Bendy and a mission for Murray. I've already done that, Bentley. I'm one step ahead of you. Get it to the, to the safe house and let's go switch characters. Now let's go buy Sly's power-up. That's all the power-up brought in this area. I'm not planning to buy every single power-up in the area. Because that will that'll cost a lot of money. Okay, I think... Yeah, let's get that. I think we'll play as Bentley first. I've not played as Bentley yet in this game. Yeah, Bentley's one of these fair cats players, but... Okay, let's get... Let's assign this power-up. He can throw bombs. These bombs are loud as well. Bentley's, ben, not all of Bentley's gadgets are, gadgets are exactly stealthy. And I just took someone out, look at that. I mean, Bentley's bombs are very effective taking people out, but yeah, they are very loud. Second you, the second one explodes and there's guards nearby, they, the guards will definitely be alerted by the explosion. So make sure you use it wisely. Okay, the mission is just over there, let's head this way. Benny can also put rats to sleep as well. Bye bye, pal. Nice knowing you. You can hear cats screaming at each other and it's screeching at each other in the area. I love cats, they're such cute animals. I've got two pet cats myself. I know what to do, Cooper. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way. Good job. He's out. Drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. Bendy can take out enemies pretty effectively, but just make sure the enemies are asleep before you use the bombs on them. Yeah, because if you, 
If you drop a bomb like that and they carry on walking off, they will. Hey Bentley, how you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving, keep safe. Yes, Bentley has to keep safe, otherwise he's a god. So don't drop a bomb to enemy while he's walking like that. Otherwise, the enemy will walk off before the bomb explodes. The enemy will walk off quite easily before the bomb explodes. Also, on the big guys, one bomb won't do it. At least two or three bombs are going to be needed to take them out completely. Okay, there's one pillar right there. I'm going to put this guy to sleep. I will need to put him to sleep because there's a... I'm going, to, I'm going to need to put some bombs on that control thing right there. Let's get rid of that right now. Right, let's get away. Okay, let's, t let's get to this guard and take him out of my sleep dart. If I take out every single guard here, it'll be so, it'll be just make my day so much easier. Bye bye, friend. Okay, let's get rid of this pillar here. And that is three out of four down. Okay, just one more pillar and that and that disco ball is down. Time to ruin D Dimitri's party. Oh, I did, I missed him. Second time lucky. Let's get out of the way. Okay, where is the last? Ah, there it is. Can I get coins from Smashing Ninja? I can. Look at all the coins around here. Let's get some coins while we're here. Why not? The more coins I have, the better, the more parrots I can get, and the more deadly sly Bentley and Murray will be by the end of the game. So I'm perhaps going to be very effective for the game later on when we're up against tougher enemies and when we've got tougher missions to complete later on in the game. Especially in the last area of the game, those missions can be really challenging. I get coins from these, alright. I'm going to use a bomb and just take them out that way. Why not? Jeez, look at all this loot. I'm rich, baby. Okay, let's destroy the last pillar. here at the safe house and you were right the peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact job complete let's get out of here before i attract any more attention i think this is the way out of here here it is so just one more mission left and we're going to play as murray now And we're back. Okay, let's um, head this way. Yeah, we'll head this way. Why not? I think it'll be quicker to get to Murray this way. I know Murray's mission is definitely around this corner right there. Okay, let's go to the safe house and... Change character. Well, there's a clue box. Can I get it with Bentley? Damn it, Bentley. You disappoint me. Let's take this guard out, and there's a guard right there. Ah. Tell us, put him to sleep and grab the loot. There we go. At least Benny can put guards to sleep. That's quite an effective thing to do. Get all the coins, let's get out of here. Okay, Murray, I've got, I've got a job for you, buddy. Quite a lot of music they right play around here as well. Slide 2 has some pretty dark music, especially in some layout hub areas in the game. That's why I like the game's soundtrack. Okay, let's see if I can sell anything before we do anything else. No, I haven't got nothing to sell. Okay. Come on, Murray, you're up. I think I know why I have to do this mission. I have to destroy some of these power boxes, I think. Pick up guards and chuck them at the boxes. Or just pick up anything and chuck them at the boxes. I think I remember this mission pretty well. I mean, come on, when I'm playing as Murray, you can remember a single mission. Let's just take these guys out. Look how quick it is. How, look how quick Murray takes them out. Murray will make a good UFC fighter. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three.
three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. Nothing is rough for the Murray. The Murray's the roughest person around. Okay, let's get some coins and let's go find some... Oh, take off. Second floor, let's use this stuff. And the alarms are on. Come here. You came at the right time. That's one box down there. Two more. Where are they? I think they're over... Oh, yeah, there's one over there and one over there. Let's go. And Murray's going to run away. The guards picked a wrong fight against a giant hip. I'm gonna slam on this guy. Bang. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I was getting it was so awesome. I fucking literally land on him. One thing I like about Murray as well, when Murray gets hit by anything, he loses the least amount of health compared to Sly and Bentley. Bentley loses health quite quickly when he gets attacked, and Sly, he doesn't lose health too quickly, but definitely quicker than Murray. And Murray loses health quite slowly, which makes him perfect for battering enemies. That's why I like playing as Murray. He's actually quite a fun character to play. It's just a batter the crap out of everyone. It's so fun. Who would have thought a newspaper could destroy boxes? Okay. Shane Murray can't pick the cars up. <laughs> that would be awesome if he could do that. Okay, let's get rid of these little guards and I'm going to pick this guy up. Come on, big man. Oh, I just, he didn't want to get thrown, obviously, so he just surrendered. Come here, pal. That's another one down. Just one more. Where is it? Over there. So let's get some newspaper and damage the box again. Who knew newspaper could damage these little boxes? Shame Murray can't jump while we're using this. I might have to let go of the newspaper anyway because... Uh, so if we head this way around... Ah, is it just around this corner? Hopefully it's not on a rooftop. I think it might be on a rooftop. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Perfect. Come here, rat. Boom. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna back to these guys and get rid of them. Ooh! Perfect. Come here, I'll send, I'll send you up in the air. Aw. Oh. Surely Murray must be able to pick those big guards up. Mission complete. All done. Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock side. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the side. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Okay, Bentley, that sounds like a plan. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video. That would mean so much to me. And if you want to keep up to date for the slide to ban of these videos upload to my channel, please be hit subscribe. That will make that means so much to me. Make my day so much. If you do that in the next episode, we're going to pull off the big heist. We can finally ruin Dimitri's night and get the clockwork tail feathers. Dimitri has no idea what's coming to him. Okay, guys, I hope to see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is Goldie X, so don't make it.